and it's like well dang bruh you know like why why hey guys welcome to my channel if you are new here i am Valisa. thank you so much for joining me today if you're returning thank you so much for coming back again um in this video i'll be showing you how i achieved this beautiful um soft glam and yeah if you're interested in seeing how i achieved that stay tuned so you can see and um also quick disclaimer if there are any guys watching this right now and you are uncomfortable with hearing about periods like in depth um about what we go through when we have our period then maybe this video won't be for you because i will get in depth in why i hate having my period um so yeah it's, everything is in grave detail so if this is going to make you uncomfortable please um skip the video and watch another one on my channel don't skip me completely watch another video on my channel you know just not this one but watch any other video <laughs> but yeah um i will be talking about my pet peeves when it comes to having my period this was actually inspired by a video that i saw a long time ago um by adiola patron and i just woke up this morning feeling really grumpy about having my period um i am on my period right now and i was feeling really grumpy about it um i woke up with cramps and then i also woke up with this pimple so it really like had me really like peed off <laughs> and um yeah that's kind of why i'm doing this video right now because i was like oh my gosh i remember adiola doing a video like this so that's kind of why i just wanted to do this video talking about why i hate having a period yeah so the secret to any good soft dam is skincare like you really want to have a good base set so like it's like the foundation to your foundation that makes sense i don't know but the yeah like a good soft glam starts off with good skin skincare so you want to make sure you've gotten your skin done child so i've already I actually literally just came out of the shower so i have already um cleansed my face i used my toner as well this is my clear action oh my days <laughs> let me read it to you it's the new skin clear action toner right um and then i used a night treatment i shouldn't be using this in the day but you know it's it's like it literally has written also that's really good for getting your skin glowing so it's whatever i used it anyway but it's actually for use at night and then i also used my nutrisentials day cream protective cream creamy day moisturizer it has spf 30 um, that's just to keep my skin moisturized because again for a soft glam you want to have um, skin that's looking good so that your um, makeup also looks as natural as possible and then I also went in with sunscreen so above the SPF that's in the moisturizer I also used sunscreen that is an SPF 50 yes SPF 50 so the sun ain't gonna get me child okay <laughs> but um yeah let me get straight into um, working on my makeup now so as always you guys know that i use um i mean not use i i i cannot talk as you guys know i start with my um concealer i start with my brows hectic <laughs> why can i not talk yeah so i start with my brows and Yo, guys, it's actually, like, embarrassing the fact that I think, like, two or three videos ago, I said that I have to clean my makeup brushes. They're still unclean, child, so hopefully I don't get myself a breakout. Um, but, yeah, so I'm starting off with my brows. So the first thing that irritates me um, about Mother Nature striking and giving us, um, you know, our period is... The fact that I never feel clean. Like, I never feel clean. I feel like as soon as I shower, I'm, like, still bleeding again, you know. It's like I never feel completely clean, which is why I even end up, like, taking two showers, um, you know, just so I feel somewhat clean. Like, I just, I never feel clean because of it. 
you know. And another thing, when you um are taking a shower you kind of like have to jump out of the shower and like start racing to um what do you call it to um get your pad on because you know you're gonna start bleeding it's gonna like trickle down your leg and it's gonna um jay it's just it's just it's not it's not good so like as soon as you jump out of the shower you have to rush you know to get to get that pad on so even then you just showered okay just got your body clean and then now you have to like run and 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 like sweat because you're rushing to go get a pad on like it's just it's 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 irritating by the way you guys i am filling in my brows and then just um brushing through with my spoolie so that it's not dark um I started, I never used to do this, but I started doing it because I was noticing that, like, my brows were starting to look thinner um, when I'd, like, clean them up with concealer or, like, carve them with the concealer. Like, it would look smaller. And, yeah, like, I wasn't vibing with that look. So I started using... Um, I started using... Um, a, a, a brow pencil I think it helps um, you guys let me know by the end of this when I'm done with my brows brows are sisters not twins So now I'm going in as always with my Fit Me Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade 14 and I'm going to use that at the bottom um, of my brow and then for the top of the brow I'm going to just use my, um, for the top of the brow I'm going to use my Yardley um, foundation that I still have not been able to replace. So, J life makeup wise, it's just painful right now. I think that my dog Layla really wants to be a YouTuber because every time I start filming, she starts barking. And like, she wasn't barking this entire time. Only now when I sat down to film, she starts barking and I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. I feel like I should maybe like give her food every time I film so that she's distracted by the food. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys are hearing my dog in the background, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. One fun fact about me is actually that I have a unibrow. And right now that I'm cleaning up my brows, I've actually just realized that like it's starting to join i literally have not shaved my brows in months <laughs> um maybe not in months but i haven't done it in a in a long while and it's starting to show so <laughs> i'm gonna think i'm gonna have to put concealer down here as well so that i can cover up those hairs that are starting to join because <laughs> not cute okay so another pet peeve right are the cramps like the whole reason i'm even sitting here talking about why like this mother nature is irritating me with like having a period is the fact that i woke up this morning right with mad cramps you guys like i i literally thought i, I, I was probably gonna die <laughs> um i feel like that all the time but i never do die because women are strong okay but like on a serious note i woke up on i woke up with um insane cramps this morning you know and i because i plan ahead in terms of my content um i really like had planned on filming a soft glam makeup tutorial but i woke up with cramps and i was just like oh i'm not going to be able to film this now anymore like i'm just gonna have to postpone it to another day or whatever and then i was like um if you do that what the heck are you gonna post on wednesday so then you know i have to film but then ugh, i knew i wasn't gonna like give you guys proper proper 
um information like for the tutorial like proper tips because i'm just going to be too distracted by my period pains so i'm channeling my period pains right now by talking about how much it's irritating me to even have anything that's called a period okay so that brings me back to the cramps like i was a person i never i was never a person who had period cramps like it just it never was a thing that ever like happened to me until like recently like this year i literally at period pains i'd have cramps very mild you know and like it would it would just be like this little tug um in my uterus but it was never like like mad pain so i'm like curling up in a ball because i'm in so much pain like it only started happening this year and i'm just like what the heck is going on and like i'm even getting worried i feel like i should go get it checked out but i don't know but yeah like i just i'm having insane cramps and i'm not enjoying that so that is one of my major pet peeves like why do we get cramps when we have a period like why why like just come and go okay another thing another thing because of like the hormones when you have your period like i get breakouts like what is this this is another thing that like literally irritated me this morning because i woke up with this on my forehead okay and it's like well dang brah you know so i yeah i was really riled up this morning because of it and that's why we're sitting here talking about our pet views with mother nature like if only eve didn't eat the apple you know maybe i wouldn't have a period <laughs> so somebody tell eve to catch me outside bruh like really but anyway yeah that's another thing like I'm, I'm working so hard on my skincare and stuff and like making sure that my skin is smooth which overall it really is smooth it's just like blemishes but then my hard work goes to waste because once a month this this blood box just comes up and it, it's it's ugh, messes everything up and then i end up having um a, a pimple or two that just pop up you know and like that's just annoying that is just annoying because i can't be spending all this money investing in my skincare which actually works really great but only for it to like go to waste once a month when i'm on my period it's like what's the point you know just come and go freaking period come and go do your thing and then go let me like live my life you know and uh, actually getting really irritated <laughs> like thinking about this um i need a minute um okay so now that the brows are done i am going to use the remaining concealer the same one that i used for um under my brows i'm going to use it on my eyes um just to prime my eye uh -huh. like that Okay, so um, I have primed my eye, um, basically just put concealer on it just so that I have a blank and smooth and even canvas when I am using my, um, I know I'm about to do my eyeshadow, um, and then I just set that concealer with a shade of brown that is somewhat really close to my complexion, um, again that's just to give me a good com um, canvas to work on and also to set the concealer so see now it's not creasing at all because i set it with that eyeshadow okay so um i don't even know what the last pet peeve i said was so i'm just gonna keep talking and hopefully i'm not repeating myself okay another pet peeve i have is these dogs in the freaking background like why Oh, here's a pet peeve. A pet peeve that I have about um, being on my period is the mood swings. You know, like 
little things get me so irritated like it's not even funny like i'm so quick to get it like i feel like i'm a person who has like a high tolerance for nonsense like i hardly ever get really irritated or angry at anything you know but when i'm on my period it's like everything gets under my skin and i get that it's hormones you know but it never used to like be this bad like as i said i was never a person who got hardly any period cramps and I never got mood swings or anything of that nature. But now, like, I don't know what's going on with my body this year. I feel like maybe, like, as I'm getting older, everything just affects me more, I guess. Um, like, hormones-wise. Because, again, I'd never get, like, crazy mood swings. And I feel like I was somewhat pretty, like, pretty much in good control of my mood. Like, obviously, I would get, like, a bit irritated or maybe sad, but then I'd have to remind myself, oh, you know, it's, it's the hormones, relax, you know. But now, it's like, there's no reasoning with the mood swings. Like, I just, I'm, I'm so irritable, it's, it's not even funny. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't know why, but literally everything gets under my skin. Like, I have such an attitude when I'm on my period. It's not even funny. Like, right now, the dog... Is still barking and i feel like going outside to punch her but obviously i love my dogs so i wouldn't punch her but you know it's just i, I have that thought and i usually wouldn't have that thought <laughs> it's the period you know and yeah i hate it I, I i i hate it like i hate the fact that it has to affect my mood drastically and even like i get so emotional like a couple months ago when i was on my period um i couldn't sleep at night so i was on instagram watching instagram reels and then i came across um this 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 guy who has a, a daughter she's like three years old and she has leukemia her name is mia the cutest little thing ever and like she's like so beautiful she has such a beautiful personality but like yeah i was i was watching the video so i ended up spending the night just scrolling through um the reels or like the videos that he has with his daughter and like i would watch him like giving um me a medication and like she'd be crying because it just wasn't good or like she'd be crying because she was in pain there was a time where she had like blisters all over her mouth and like yo when i tell you i spent the whole night sobbing <laughs> Like, I cried myself to sleep, essentially. Like, I, I literally spent the night sobbing. And, like, obviously, I'd, I'd still be really sad about it, even if I wasn't on my period. Because, like, I, it's just sad to me that a three-year-old who's innocent and, like, oblivious to everything, who should be thinking about watching Coco Melon or um, getting candy and eating cereal for breakfast, is now worrying about, like, life and death issues like cancer, you know? like no child deserves to um be dealing with leukemia especially at that young age like three years old can you imagine you know so yeah like in general it saddens me but it was worse way worse because i came across the profile or like the instagram page when i was on my period so girl i cried myself to sleep <laughs> like i was sobbing the entire night and yeah and it was all due to my period so like what i'm getting to is that i was never an overly emotional person but it's like things just make me cry more easily now um even movies you know like i'd never cry watching a movie because i'm like oh no this is just acting you know like i had that logical thing at the, at the back of my mind like oh don't let this affect you so much it's just a movie it's just a movie but it's like the logic has gone away <laughs> it fled the scene like i i have i don't have that logic anymore like when something hap i'm sad happens i lose it i cry too and yeah even when i'm not on my period now so i don't know if i should like say it was brought on by the period or not but like it's worse when i'm on my period but now in general i just cry even when i'm watching a movie and it's like that was never me so i don't know who this person is bro i really don't okay so again i have set this eye using a um 
eyeshadow that is very close to my skin tone you could also use um just setting powder if you want like a translucent powder if you don't want to have any color on the eyes but this is what i have so far i feel like leaving it like this but i won't it just it looks good already but um if you're a person who's not big on eyeshadows then you definitely could like stop at this step and just go straight into doing your skin but i want to have a bit more a bit more dimension so uh um ooh. so i'm just going to add another color to the eye um what i'm doing now is just bringing up that same color that i set my eye with and bring it up to my um brow bone just so that the eyeshadow isn't not the eyeshadow the concealer isn't sticking out too much um because you want everything to look as seamless as possible and as natural as possible okay okay better so now i'm going to go in with another brush and i'm going to use that to give my eye more definition i'm going to use the color that i usually use for contour um because once i have my contour everything is just gonna like be cohesive and you know look good child and what i'm using this color on is literally just the crease because i'm adding um definition to my eye All right so yeah this brown color is just going in the crease now we are going in to the skin first of all we're going to use the setting spray um this is my um new skin napka moisture mist and yeah because again you want your face to be um hydrated you know when you're doing a soft glam uh it just i don't know i just feel like it helps in yeah getting a nice soft smooth natural looking soft glam um but yeah so the moisture mist is actually going to bring in more hydration to the skin so that's why i used it and it's also going to set my eyes and my brows okay here's another pet peeve pads pads like I'm a person with heavy flow so I have to use um, those thick pads like I use a night pad during the day because oh my gosh this brush is so dirty I really have to like wash my brushes after I finish filming this video because this isn't cute like look at that guys okay anyway um what was I saying right so like i have a heavy flow so i have to use the thicker pads that are usually for like the night and that's just not cute <laughs> like i'm not talking like aesthetic wise just the feeling of wearing a thick pad that's not a good feeling like i hate the feeling of wearing a pad um hate it and also like you know like sometimes you put it on and then for example if you go to the toilet you realize it's not even sitting the same way that you put it in you know and like i use the ones with wings so they should be staying in place but they just don't you know and then on top of that on top of that like you have to wear a pad for like security and whatnot so that everything drips onto the pad but why is it that there's still a chance of leakage even after wearing this huge ass diaper nappy whatever you call it like i'm actually really getting like riled up guys <laughs> uh yeah i'm taking this very personal but like really though on a real note like 
you get leakage even when you're wearing it so like it clearly is not fulfilling its purpose you know and like i'm not a tampon person i've used a tampon i think only not i think once i've only used a tampon once in my life um i was on like a family trip and we went to a water park and like i was obviously on my period so i was like oh damn i'm not gonna be able to to swim with everyone and like for me it's like what's the point of being at a water park if you're not gonna swim you know that's like a waste of money like why did you buy the ticket only to get there and just sit and not do anything so my cousin who at the time was also on her period was like let's just try pads i think it was also not pads tampons i think it was also her first time i may be wrong but i think it was also her first time so we went out we got ourselves the tampons and that was my first time using it um i didn't like the feeling i feel like it was really like uncomfortable and well at some point like the uncomfortable feeling went away because i was obviously in water so like i wasn't even paying attention to it at some point but for the most part i think it's really uncomfortable then i tried using it once more like after that occasion but i really found it uncomfortable so i didn't even like finish putting it on and just took it out and, and wore a pad so just for me i don't think tampons are for me so i have to rely on pads that still could give me leakage you know and like there's all these other things like cups and um wait i think that's the only thing that's there for periods but yeah like there's just all of these other options where she can still get leakage it's like what's the point what's the point you know guys this is actually really irritating <laughs> okay so i have put on some concealer over all my spots and yeah also by the way can we just appreciate the growth and development of my skin like a couple months ago i did a um video on how to cover up blemishes and like i went through a whole in-depth thing of using concealer and then color correcting with a red eyeshadow and then like you know there's just all of these things that i did but now i can actually get away with just doing my concealer only and then i only ever put eyeshadow like the red eyeshadow on um places that are darker and like i feel like really need it like for example this these three here but other than that i really don't be doing much like red color correcting like that's progress right there that's progress that makes me happy and then you get a period that will come up and mess things up for you because all of these i actually got from like when i was having a period because then i was getting you know breakouts yes, okay so now i'm going in with my foundation oh i actually have some that's already on my hand from when i was using it um for my brows okay so what was the last thing that i spoke about was it pads i think it was pads was it yeah so guys another thing right i am on contraception um not because i'm like sexually active no i'm still a virgin but it's to like balance my hormones um for like my acne so it's like for skin reasons you know the contraceptive helps me to balance my hormones so that i don't get as many breakouts or as frequent breakouts which actually really works and it's been helping but here's another problem yeah the other problem now is that when you take the pill right it has to be at the same time every single day okay and if you don't take it at the same time every single day or if you forget to even take it at all then you now are giving yourself the problem of um spotting when you get your period and to me this happens all the time which is why i like freaking hate pills like i hate taking pills in general but um yeah like when i'm when i'm on my pill well not when i'm still on my pill but what makes it worse or like what makes my periods more unbearable is the fact that if i forget to take the pill at some point in the month it's gonna come back to bite my to bite me in the ass um 
when I am sorry you guys wait I'm just admiring how look at this coverage bruh Yardley is the bomb really it really is anyway um yeah so then the the problem is that I end up spotting and when I start spotting that means that my whole period is irregular so I start having it for longer days longer than what I usually would be having it for because of the fact that I didn't um, take my contraceptive pills properly you know so now another side effect to the fact that I'm a woman who's not pregnant who now has to have a period because she's not pregnant I have to now um, you know have the issue of, 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 of spotting because I didn't take my pill properly you know like why why just sometimes being female is really like frustrating i will say because look at all the things that we have to deal with on top of all the other things that we have to deal with this is one of them like why is it even one of the things that we have to deal with you know oh i really have to like clean this brush because i'm using more products because it's not spreading out the product properly because it's like such a dirty brush my bad here's another thing right this is not period related but it is another pet peeve of mine why is it that us females have contraceptive like a bunch of contraceptive methods we have um, a contraceptive pill we have an injection we have a mirena we have um, an implanon I'm pretty sure there's a dozen other ways of contraceptive uh, like a dozen other contraceptive methods that I probably don't know about but like those are just the few that I know right why is it that we have those but men don't have a contraceptive met like method you know they don't have anything that they have to um, drink on the regular eat on the regular or get checked out on the regular so that they can ensure that they aren't getting someone pregnant but females have to take all of these things so that they ensure that they don't get pregnant you know and it's like it's a, it's a two-person thing no female can just get themselves pregnant you know a guy has to be involved for that so why don't guys also have contraceptives you know like that's another thing that really irritates me and i'm like shocked at the fact that we're in freaking 2021 and there still is no contraceptive for men you know and not that like, don't come in the comments telling me about condoms that's not, that's not a contraceptive it's not it's not the same thing as a pill you know it's not the same thing as a mirena it's not the same like it's just it's just not the same basically so why do we have to struggle and take pills that make our periods irregular okay and they also add to like all these mood swings and they don't do anything they just get to enjoy you know and then we have to worry about the after effects or what happens before and all that stuff like just society guys it's unfair so mother nature is against us for giving us periods and then society is against us by only giving females contraceptive methods like bruv okay so now i am going to let this set for a bit um so that i can go in with my oh my gosh i actually don't have that mini streak this is a first oh, look at me By the way, the reason I'm wearing a head wrap is because I don't want to get too much foundation and contour on my um, hair because I recently washed it and I'm not trying to wash it anytime soon, at least not until next week. Okay, but yeah, that's another pet peeve, the fact that we have to take contraceptives and men don't, I don't understand why. Um, I don't know if this happens to anyone. But does anyone get that period diarrhea? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. 
this might be tmi but does anyone get the diarrhea like i feel like almost every period or every other period that i have i get a um period diarrhea you know it's like i could not be like dropping a dump you know like any day before the period but then as soon as i'm on my period like i feel like i'm dropping dumps every day you know or like there's just that one day where you just get like mad diarrhea i don't know if this happens to anyone but it like it irritates me because no one likes having diarrhea so i think that's just another reason why we should make sure that we're staying hydrated um so that we don't dry ourselves out when you get diarrhea but i don't know if this happens to anyone else so please in the comments let me know if you guys also get the period diarrhea because i get the period diarrhea and it's not cute and it's usually <laughs> oh my gosh i can't be even talking about poop right now it's usually the one that's like you know that that hot one that feels like it's gonna burn your intestines if it stays in you any longer like <laughs> It's like it's, it usually feels really really hot and um when you are dropping it like it's always super intense it's the type that you have to like take your shoes off and um maybe even like take all your clothes off and like just sit there and drop the dump because like it's just so intense that you have to like strip naked to do it i don't know if i'm the only one who gets this so please let me know in the comments because I'm sure I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one. That'd be crazy. What? If I was the only one? Nah, I don't think I'm the only one. Let me know in the comments if you guys get this too. Um, so I can feel better about myself. Because now I'm starting to feel very weird. I have one more pet peeve why is it that we can't comfortably wear let me not say we i can't when i'm on my period i can't comfortably wear any other type of clothes that i usually would wear like i make sure i wear like dark pants um dark jeans i don't wear a dress um i if i am wearing a dress i'll wear like i'll double up on the spandex so i'll wear like too tight um yeah but like it's just never i never am comfortable in what i'm wearing because there could be leakage and if it's a light color then you're screwed you know so that's one of the things that i don't like because i'm never comfortable in what i'm wearing and like i also have to wear like those big wide thick granny panties and it's just it's not it's not cute i don't want to be wearing granny panties i'm not a granny yet so I don't like that you know but now because of the fact that i need to make sure that this pad is secure and i need to make sure that I, i'm getting as minimal leakage as possible i then don't um get to wear my normal underwear I have to wear granny panties and then on top of that wear two tights if i'm wearing a dress sometimes even three depending on how um heavy my flow is that time you know like it's just there's just always something that's my problem there's just always something so this is it you guys this is the final look um don't mind this head wrap <laughs> this is the final look you guys and if you enjoyed the video please do like share comment and subscribe and join my family um also i was going on a full rant about why i hate having periods so le <laughs> let me know if you guys relate to any of my pet peeves and also just comment down below as well if um you guys have any pet peeves with having a period if you do um yeah just put that down in the comment section so we can have a conversation about it but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>
I'm done.